Hi everyone, it's John Hennessy with another podcast and in this seventh uh, podcast I wanted to talk about mo uh, motivation and goals and what drives you. Um, we're often told how important it is to stay motivated, to stay uh, strong and focused on our goals no matter what and there are days when you're going to do this a hell of a lot better than others uh, as work commitments, family commitments, personal uh, relationships um, and just things that you want to do um, can be affected and impacted by this. Not to mention things like your health that you're relying on every day to, to uh, in order to maximize your potential. Um, I think motivation is important, but I think the the bigger um, the bigger aspect of this is to have a clear uh, and purposeful goal that drives you, because you can be motivated to do. Uh, almost anything, if you think about it. If someone points a gun at your head and says that if you don't uh, do this thing for me in the next two minutes, uh, I'm going to shoot you in the head and blow your brains out, you'll probably find some way to do whatever that task is within the next two minutes, uh, even if it seemed uh, impossible um, without that gun being at, at your head. So. That's an extreme scenario, but motivation is uh, absolutely important. But it's not the most important thing. Um, and I think it was David Goggins that said, um, the, the former U.S. Navy SEAL, he he said that, that you know, um, being driven was was far more important than just uh, basic goals and, and motivation. And um, they're, they're they're components certainly, um, but really. Not what motivates you, what drives you, what what do you really live for, what what do you want to see uh, as a major achievement in your life, be it uh, the same day that you achieve it, or the following week, the following month, the following year. One of the most irritating questions that I used to be asked when I was um, going for jobs uh, and actual gainful employment uh, many, many, many years ago was, uh, where do you want to be in five years' time? And it seemed a really odd question to me because I would obviously like to be in a stronger position than that particular day where I'm being interviewed. and. It might be a controversial one um, where they're testing you to see how, what, what your balls are, what, what your balls are like, what your nerve is like, because you might say, well, yeah, I want to be in your job, uh, in your position five years from now, maybe two years from now if you're really ballsy, um, because why not? They're wanting people to join them who are going to drive the company forward or at least a forward-thinking company will think this way, um, bosses and directors who've got a vision will want to think that way. Um, and if it doesn't turn out to be like that, then it's probably good for you to be an entrepreneur. It's probably good for you to work for yourself and have um, multiple uh, revenue streams uh, going for you. And this is where the motivational aspect comes in. You hear about this, a motivational um, speaker. For, for example, um, th there's a few on YouTube, for example, like guys like Jim Rowan and uh, Tony Robbins, uh, for example, and they have those motivational workshops. And I think they're a good idea uh, in principle because they're probably going to get you out of a rut. They're going to let you um, focus on a different area of your life that maybe you hadn't considered prior to going to the motivational workshop. And even being motivated to go to the motivational workshop is hard for some people. So it's good if um, if you can do that, if you feel that you need to do it at this point in your life. Um, and the, it's it's good to watch them on YouTube and other video channels or see them in programs or on DVDs, but very rarely will you be able to recreate the experience of actually being there. Um, it's like listening to music, you know, when you actually see it live and, and see how it's being played and the singers and the group coming together and, and working hard on the, on the different instruments for you to create a live acoustic experience. Nothing really matches the, being present and, and being honoured to view that. 
So when we're hungry, we're motivated to go and get food, be it, be it if we've got it in the kitchen or if we haven't got it in the house that we've got to go to the shops to, to go get it um, these days you can order it online and, and all of that so it will involve a level of motivation at some level you'll have to do something but it's not um, compelling for your life and so what is the thing that drives you what are the things, what are the goals that are going to be so compelling that even when you're hungry, you're going to be focusing on them? I'm not, I'm not suggesting a bad diet that you should stop eating for three days just so you could complete a project that really drives you and really means something to you. Although there might be an argument for doing so, I wouldn't recommend it. What, what's really going to compel you to do something? Um, Usually people have to hit the wall, they, they have to hit rock bottom before they'll make the changes that need to be made. And, you know, you won't be able to bring everyone along with you. Um, some of your friends, some of your family, people you love and, or, and you thought loved you, they, you might not be able to bring them along with you for, for the ride. And, and not everyone is meant to be with you for the entire journey. Um, they may disappear from your life and then they might come back um, later at some point, be it a year or five years down the road or ten years down the road. Um, but if such people just want to be part of your success, you don't want those people uh, in your life actually. You want such people around you when you're struggling, when you're down, when you're when you're bleeding, um, metaphorically speaking, probably actually as well, you need to know that you can rely on them, that you can trust them absolutely. And you'll believe that of some people for a while. And uh, there, will, there will be a real reason why they came into your life. Um, the universe is funny that way. Um, but in the end, the only one who can drive you, the only one who can set a compelling vision and goal for you is is you you may get inspired by a, a talk that you uh, see a Tony Robbins speech or a book that you've read and and um, or even a piece of music that you're listening to or a, a, a quote that someone gave you and it might inspire you to really make incredible life changes but what motivates one person will not motivate another um, and you, you've got to decide for yourself what, what's the most compelling thing for you not five years from now not even one year from now one week from now can you have a better week can you have seven days of personal growth and amazing fulfillment and fantastic uh, goal achievement and an amazing drive can you commit to that for seven days if you did what what would happen what, what would be the effect on your life what would be the impact on you personally and professionally would you make more money would you um, have a better quality of friendship or relationship or, or family connections I would say that there's a very high chance of that and um, Although I'll talk separately in a, another video, another podcast about social media, um, you'll hear most people say that social media is a negative. I'm, I'm not so sure I agree with that, but I think it has its place along everything else. And if you're listening to this podcast um, via YouTube, you might have found this video via the website or via Twitter or, or someone shared it with you or, or on a martial arts forum, for example. I think it's really important to take time out and actually physically write it down. Don't use a keyboard, don't use a phone. Take a blank piece of paper, take a pen, write down, just brainstorm what, what's going to be most compelling for you to give yourself the next uh, seven days to be some of the most amazing and profound days in your life. Not five years. Five years is one way of looking at it, it's one way of choosing a goal, but it's not um, it's not a great question really, and I, I, I wonder now, if I was going for, for jobs and unemployment, would I still be asked this question? 
and probably not because um, it's it's probably changed in um, the 10 plus years or so since I actually went for a job interview so for those of you that do and, and, and still have to do the day job thing I do sympathize but I also think that um, you will find your way and your life purpose and your mission and your goals I do talk about it in my uh, martial arts book uh, the mastery of martial arts in uh, the part four section of the book and for some of you it might be a bit controversial but for some of you it might really resonate and be on point so I hope that if you um, if you purchase a copy of the book be on Kindle or a paperback that it helps you and, and please leave me a quick review if you like it as well so that's it for today I'm going to wrap it up and uh, I will talk to you again soon